might go into this area. Um, Sarbanes-Oxley Act. And let me just uh, go over this. You know about this, right? SOX, okay. Those requirements, New Jersey has adopted many of those requirements. For instance, public sector organizations have to have an audit committee. A member of the audit committee has to be an accountant or some expert. So you know, if you are, if there's a public entity out there and you seldom find a CPA on their board, you can volunteer and say, you know what, I could be your outside expert as a member of your audit committee. And you know what, they'd love to have you because that's what the requirement is now for audit committees. One of the other things is that um, besides the audit committee, oops, let me give you the other ones which are not listed, is that um, CFO and CEO are required to sign the financial statements. Why? Gives them the sense that they better not lie because if they lie, it's a misdemeanor and you can go to jail. Second item. Third item, there is a whistleblower provision that you have to allow people in the organization, if they see instance of fraud or misdoing, they should be able to report that without any consequences. So the whistleblower's protection. So these are the types of things which are now being introduced in the public sector, which were, you know, in the for-profit arena for for a long time itself. So let's quickly uh, now review, I think that's 